Hello, this is Nikki in Niagara coming to you from Niagara Falls, Canada. Today I have a little introductory package that Sun Life Drawing was uh, <laughs> I can't talk was pleasant enough to send it to me and I'm very excited to have these books at their behest and um, I'm going to show you what they sent me and what I've done with them and then we're going to do a little color and chat in the newest book that they sent me. So I, did, I don't have the brand new book that's out. This was a, this was a sorted out between them and me before that one had uh, come out. So I have the book that they, the book that they um, published at the beginning of the month because I believe they published two books this month. One at the beginning and one just a few days ago. So the first one that they sent me was One Color Mandala. Now, in this book, let's see, what you're supposed to do is color the mandala all in one color. And it's supposed to be very therapeutic. I have uh, seen other people working in this book. I've even seen some people finish this book and do a flip through of it. And I did do one like that. This one is the one I did in one color. Um, I could see myself doing some more, um, particularly picking colors that I don't normally use to kind of see if there's a reason why I'm not using them or, you know, maybe finding new colors I like. Um, but the real thing that I've been doing with this book, which has been, which has been great, is that I have this little uh, this little bucket here, and um, I have a set of Touch News, which I've had for three years. And now that I've gotten back into the coloring, and am coloring full full speed ahead, uh, these three year old markers are starting to give up the ghost. And these are the ones that have run out of ink. Now, when a pen runs out of ink, it really isn't totally out of ink. And so, to me, it feels like a waste to throw it away. So, what I've been doing is putting them in here and putting them so that they are pointing down with the bullet point. And that is, because usually we lay them straight so that the ink sits in the middle and it'll go to whichever end you want to use. I'm sending the remaining ink down towards the bullet point so that I can continue to use the pens even though I can't count on them to cover um, an entire block of, of uh, you know, a space in, in a coloring book. I wouldn't want to run out because these have already done that to me. So their tips have decent amounts of ink in it and uh, the more I use them, the less and less that gets. I've actually totally 100% used up one that did not have a milliliter of wetness left in it, and that was a brown one. So what I've been doing with these is using them for these mandalas. Here, let me put these ones aside. And I, I think it's pretty cool, actually, because... I take the colors and I start working, or this first one here, I started working until I had used one, two, three, four, yeah, four colors. Then I uh, just kept working with those four colors and uh, did myself a mandala. As you can see on the last ones, the blue was running out, so it definitely needed to go spend some time standing on its end to see if we could get more ink out of it. So this is the next one I did, and I used quite a few. I, I picked out all my pastel-y colored, colored shades, and I worked with a good 
amount of them and uh, was able to fill this in. I had to take a couple of breaks on this light green and on this blue to set them aside to let the ink run down again, but they made it through, no problem. Then this one, I did a lot of uh, different colors in this, and I'm, I'm really finding it interesting into what uh, color combinations I'm I'm coming up when I have a limited I have a limited supply of colors which don't necessarily go together and just plopping them down and seeing how you can make a a mandala attractive that way and then finally on the last one here I uh, found my black to be very dry so I used it in a couple of small places and it definitely is dry I have a feeling I'll be able to use it sparingly on one more and then it might totally 100% give up the ghost on me I'm finding the same with the dark blue and the dark pink so they will come out of here which is good because uh, yesterday I put two more in there so uh, th this is the last one that I've done in here. The rest of the book has empty mandalas like that for supposedly to color in one color as the book suggests and the beginning of the book tells you the benefits of, of uh, that type of therapy. But you can do whatever you want with them, right? It's your book. I think I'm going to continue on using up my finished up uh, my finished up alcohol markers. So the book is showing a bit of wear <laughs> because I've been right into it. Now the other one they sent me, I had didn't have any of their mosaic books, so they sent me their travel mosaic. And man, is this a beautiful book! The uh, pages are quite you can well you know you can tell what they are I don't know if you can tell on camera what they are they're not they're not mystery pictures like that's what St. Paul's Cathedral that's the Colosseum that's I don't know exactly what that is I can tell it's pictures, but I don't know where it is. Uh, Tower of Pisa, London Bridge, and so on. I did the first one in here, and I was just absolutely flabbergasted at how well it turned out. As with all the, um, as with all the sunlight drawing books, they have the same, they have the same color palette here, a 22. A 22 color palette and then at the beginning you get a testing page and this is the first one that I did and it used all I'm going to fold this back it used all 22 colors in there and the different thing about this is that you have to color in each space you can't um, you can't join three or four together and then color them all in together because they're all separated. They're all separated by the uh, lines. So this makes good use of water-based markers because you're not going to get a lot of streaking or, or, or pooling or anything on here since you're working in such small spaces. Then when I was finished, I went over the white outline with a gel uh, metallic marker pen a gel pen in metallic silver there we go and I think it looks really nice um, probably a little bit sloppy it was a little tricky but I think the more I do the better I'll get at it because I think I'm going to continue doing that it just adds the extra little oomph so what I do with these books and I've done it too the other one that I have is that on the inside page they tell you everything that's in the book in order 
so what I do is I oh, that's a huge clip I paper clip those together so I've had a look at it I've seen it I know what's in there but I'm never gonna look at those pages again now it's always going to be a mystery to me as to what is what now not the latest book that's out but the one that was out before the current one was this one here mystery quest and this one is certainly a mystery because what they have done is they have not put that list of pictures to be found in here. You're going into this blind. It uses the same 22 color palette and it's like any other quest book where each uh, hidden picture will be made up of, excuse me, will I take a sip of Dr. Pepper? will be made up of circles, squares, hexagons, triangles, circles, squares, hexagons, triangles, yeah, mm -hmm. it repeats. So they're made up of those four different shapes. See, here's one that doesn't use all the colors, and so it just skips. So it goes from one to three to four to six, then all the way to ten. So you know which colors you're going to use. So there's no, no sense doing the flip through of this because all you're going to see are these pages full of dots or triangles or squares. The back of the book also, like their others, does not have any pictures of the finished, of the finished uh, pages. So this is certainly what its name suggests. It is a mystery quest, and you're going in blind with these. So what I did was, I instead of starting us off with a blank page, I did the first, I did what, one, two, three, three colors. I did three colors on here, and then I started in with the fourth one and decided we would stop there. Now... Until I added the pink, I had absolutely no idea what this is. Now that I see the pink, I was thinking that this was a star. Now that I see the pink, I'm no longer thinking that. And I have, I have an idea of what it is, but exactly how it's posed or something, I haven't a clue because it still seems a little bit weird. So the one that I chose to do is the hexagons because the hexagons are my favorite shapes to do of these ones. I think they look good and they're just the most fun for me to do. Um, usually when I do a color by number, when it's a, a picture, I'll start with the I'll start with the first color and do do the whole page. Then I'll move on to the next color and do the whole page. That way when I get to say number eight and as I'm doing the page, if I come across a number smaller than eight, I know I missed it. And I can go back and pick out the pen and fill it in. It helps me not to forget which pen I used for which color because you're always bound to miss a number here or there when you're searching through the whole thing from the beginning. However, <laughs> when I do these kinds that are that you don't even know what they are, I always start in the top left corner and work my way from that number to about here. <clears throat> then I'll move on to the next color up there and I'll do the same thing and I'll do it with the next one, and then once I get to a certain point, I'll start looking for those three numbers on the rest, the rest of it, and then I start going in. I'm working on the pink, which is number 19. I'm using pink. I have been using Bic markings to do this one in. That's my favorite, uh, that's my favorite Pen. I've tried a few out in this book, and that is definitely my favorite for using in here. 
I am just looking around trying to find a backing page. You would think I would find something. What's this? Oh, this is good. This is a piece of cardstock from packaging. I'm going there nicely. Okay, so you need to do that whenever you use alcohol based markers. And uh, it's always good to do with water based markers too, though. Um, they very rarely bleed through. So I'm looking for 19s. I'm using Petal Pink of Vic Markings. So, hopefully I will be able to do this since it requires quite a bit of uh, attention and be able to keep up a conversation. I hope you are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I hope that you recover soon. I also hope that you are enjoying good weather. We are quite close to the spring. Well, we're in, in what we typically think of the spring months. And uh, good weather should be coming towards us. But uh, not all so fortunate. Uh, we had a really nice day today. It was our first, first full-fledged nice day. It was uh, 17 degrees Celsius, which is a nice warm, no jacket type of weather. I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit unless I uh, convert it. Now you can see when I do these, I gather up, I gather up my numbers that are together so that I can color in a section at a time. Works best for me this way. So yeah, we enjoyed a nice, a nice warm day. Um, the rest of the week has been absolutely atrocious. We've had some nice, we've had some nice temperatures, but it has rained a lot of the time. It has also, we also had a thunder and lightning storm with accompanied hail one night. And the night before that, it got so cold in the night during the rain that when I woke up in the morning, I found ice droplets hanging or frozen to the trees outside my window. So that was not fun. And the problem with that is when it rains or is miserable out, the, pre the air pressure is low and that causes my stupid body to ache. So for once, I had a busy day today. Got up, whoops, that one's not a pink. We need to go around it. Got up very early because we had to get up and going early. I had to uh, squish in an extra appointment today, so I had to get to some places early so that I would have time to be able to get to the third appointment. So we drove to the neighboring city. That's where most of my appointments take place and we went to the home the home mobility uh, shop where they sell all kinds of mobility and uh, daily living aids to people there good news is is that the day prior I had received notice that I'd been accepted to use the, the handy van which is a small little bus that takes handicapped people around from their door to the door of where they're going. So it's kind of, it's, it's run by the bus service, but it's kind of like a taxi in that it comes straight to your home. So I was approved for that, and all my doctor's appointments will be covered by disability. So if I use it for disability, for like doctor's appointments, they get paid for, but I can use it on my 
I can use it for wherever I want to go. So anyways, um, <clears throat> after that day that I got approved, I got called. Now I think we're going to do sixes because they're attached up here. And six is peach. And I have a peach color that I use for peach here. Is this it? Peach Parfait. And then the other one is Summer Melon. No, that's more of a late orange. Okay, yeah, this is the one I use. So I'm using Peach Parfait. These are the ultra fines too. They're just like the ultra fine Sharpie markers. So anyways, yesterday I got called by disability and um, they had heard from the the um, bus transit. They'd faxed them a copy of my application and, and um, acceptance. So they called me up and said was there any other live like any living aids that I needed like um, a scooter or a wheelchair or um, household items and stuff and I'm like yeah definitely I do so um she talked to me a bunch about what to do and um what forms to get filled out and so I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go through everything. Okay, so I got two fives in there and make sure I don't color. So that led us to our first appointment this morning. It wasn't an appointment. We just decided to go first thing and, and get this get this moving. So we went to the uh, mobility store in uh, the next uh, town and um, we went in and told them that disability had told us to come in and that they would they would see to us with the forms and the requests and stuff and they did so they took me around the store and asked me what I needed showed me what they had and then you know kind of told me what what they typically what people typically used in my situation. Some stuff I declined as I, I didn't really need it. Other things I, I, I thought, you know, was really cool. And um, so they, she wrote down the stuff and um, I tried out a wheelchair, which was, which was really cool. It's a, a fairly basic one, but, but it's decent. It's decent enough. And, um, it's one they get, it's not electric, I don't need a, an electric one, it's, it's one that I'd be pushed around in, but it also has those big wheels that you can, that you can turn, turn yourself, move yourself around in, so maybe I'll get some big strong, strong, uh, muscly arms from using that, um, then, um, tried out a scooter and again I didn't need anything too fancy for that just something to get me out and enable me to go to the shops on my own and you know because right now um I'm at the point that I have to be driven everywhere and um usually my husband goes into the store for me because I can't handle walking around in the store but you know sometimes I go in with my cane and I'll just barely manage. So yeah, that's what the uh, scooter is for, is to get me out so I can get to the stores that are that are close enough and uh, be more independent. And So it's a nice one and I drove it around the store. It was really nice to drive and you know it's got it's got a few features for for groceries and and uh, you know, scooting around that sort of thing. It was uh, what they called medium quality because I'm 
A low quality one is just for um, moving around indoors, and um, I didn't need that because I don't I don't need to move move around on a scooter in my house. My cane is fine for that. So yeah, there was a bunch of other things too, you know, for um, sleeping and bathing and just daily daily living types of things. So she filled out the form, gave us a copy, and she faxed it off to disability. So now we're waiting to hear about that. And in the meantime, we have to contact a couple of contractors because we need to get uh, we need to get two quotes from people on putting in handrails in the house and putting in ramps. Both of those things are covered by disability. So, uh, yeah, we'll be doing that in the near future. So that was my first appointment of the day. Then my second appointment, it, today's Thursday that I'm doing this, um, was to go to the pain clinic because I go there every uh, every Thursday. Now I was going really early <laughs> for my appointment, but um, they're kind of the they're kind of a place that uh, takes first come first served type of deal. So it doesn't really matter if you're if you're early, and they don't care if you're late either, as long as you let them know if you're going to be late. You can just walk in if you're early, though. And they also take walk-ins if your pain is so bad that you can't wait, make it to your next appointment. So, yeah, pretty easy going. So I went there an hour early for my appointment. You know, still takes half hour or so. And, um, yeah, went there. It was straightforward. A little bit of a wait, not too much. And, uh... Yeah, got got my normal needles and everything was fine. So after that, I wanted to pop in to Dollarama because they're selling sets of sets of five color coordinated uh, packs of these um, big markings, and I wanted to I wanted to get some backups because I don't know if they're if they're selling them anymore I know they've changed the name again but it doesn't look like they have as many colors with the new name so who knows what's going on if I can get some of these from the dollar store and stock up on them I will be happy so we went to the dollar store and yes lo and behold they had lots of all the packs in there. So I got two packs of each one. No need to be greedy. Save some for other people and next Thursday I will pop in again and if there's any left I'll pick up some more. And then the other thing that I wanted to do was <coughs> excuse me, a tickle in my throat. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to do is uh, pop into chapters because now that I know they sell um, that they sell British and American coloring book magazines in the magazine section I want to check that out every Thursday so that I don't miss out on anything and they didn't have anything different from last time so I just uh, I didn't end up buying anything, buying anything different there. They've got quite a few of the um, Creative Heaven, is it called, magazines there, but I'm not interested in those because they're all just pictures of girls, which is not my thing. Though I'm really excited about the new one with space aliens, so keeping my eye out for that. We're usually a few months behind at my at my chapters, so maybe a couple of months before I see those issue, that issue. The other issue I'm interested in is the quarterly that came out with all the um, all the different styles of cat art 
and that's another one that I'd be interested in. So I'm glad to see that they do do stuff other than girls, because <laughs> well, that, that gets old fast for me. I haven't colored a girl in ages. So yeah, I uh, did that. Then we stopped off at Timmy's and got ourselves a iced cappuccino thingy. I forget what it's called. My husband ordered mine, so I wasn't really paying attention to which one I got. I just got the basic one. They have special flavor ones. Chocolate. Um, vanilla. Then they, in the seasons, they come out with special flavored ones, too. So I got that for the drive back to our town, where I had to stop off at my hairdressers to get my hair done. And that was a bit of an ordeal, too, because my appointment had originally been on... Tuesday and I showed up at Tuesday and she was closed there's nobody there and you know we we stayed an extra five minutes and still nobody there and you know we knew it's not like her and um, so yeah we left went back home I called her number and you know said that I'd had an appointment and, you know, wondered what was up. Was she okay? You know, uh, when, when could we get my hair done? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so she texted me in the evening and let me know that uh, she had shattered her arm and was told she couldn't work for a month. So... She has a partner who is a hairdresser, too, and uh, he is coming in two days a week to do her regular client's hair, and he's going to stay open one of the days to um, get any walk-ins or anything like that to help her out, keep the income coming in while she's off. And, uh, yeah, so that was my problem because tomorrow's Good Friday and the stores will be closed until, um, Tuesday because they're closed here for Easter Monday as well. And, um, I'm having visitors on Sunday. And I definitely didn't want them to see me with this great big frizzy bush of hair that I had been growing over the winter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I needed my hair cut desperately. It was a hair emergency. I usually get my hair colored too, but it was like, you know, don't worry about the color. Let's just get this thing cut and put back into its proper style. So, um, her partner was working on the Thursday, and that was today. So we got in at noon. That's why I'd had to. That's why I'd had to get up early and go to my other appointments early, was to be able to get to this one in time. But, all done. Everything went fine. No problems. Good day. Came home and was just absolutely exhausted <laughs> from all that activity, though. If you uh, have fibro, you'll know what I mean about the exhaustion level of that. So, I had a nap. And... Uh, slept later than I had hoped I would, but whenever I get my needles, they always send me, I always come home and have quite a long nap, and, uh, 
on top of that with all the activity it was just it was a given that I would be that I would be sleeping so now it's can I even see the time I have no idea what time it is it's starting to get dark so maybe it's Maybe it's 5 or 6 o'clock at night, around there. And I wanted to get this done so that I could have a Friday color and chat. That's kind of my, uh, my plan, is to do that. I have a couple more companies who are sending me um, coloring books to review. Um, I'm finding that easy to come by because I've been a professional book reviewer since 2005 so um, usually I just have to ask explain my explain my history in the field and uh, publishers are quite willing to send me stuff and um, I just love review reviewing things that's that's why I've been doing it for so long now we got little itty bitty one squares kind of all over the place here so I'm looking forward to those coming and um, I'm looking forward to the end of the month when I get paid and I have a I have an order I want to place because that's just what I do. <laughs> I place orders on payday. If I didn't, there would probably be something wrong with me and people would be concerned. So, I can't have people being concerned for me. So, I'm looking forward to pl placing my order because I've got some really, some books that I'm really looking forward to getting. And I've also decided that um, from now on, when Michaels has their 50% off coupons, I'm going to buy a Copic with one of them and a refill with the second one. So I always take my husband with me and he he's the one who uses the second coupon. Because I mean now that I've now that I've used these, um, you know, budget-friendly um, alcohol markers, I can definitely see the benefit of having the Copics and being able to fill them. Because, you know, in the end, after you've bought your Copic, bought your ink, and then refilled it, I pretty much... I have some sketch markers, but... I'll be buying the chows because they don't they don't sell the sketch markers at uh, at Michaels. So you get to fill those like 12 or 13 times I've heard with the inks. So yeah, that's definitely them buying cheaper than buying 12 or 13 cases of budget friendly of budget friendly uh, alcohol ink packs of 60. So yeah, the first one I'm going to get is black because my, I have some blacks, but it's the one color I use all the time. So I figured that's what I would start with. And then, um, not really sure from there. I'll just, um, take stock, see what color I'm low on and be ready for the next 50% uh, off coupon. Here in Canada, we don't get the coupons like you do in the States. Like, um, normally our coupon is 40 or 40, 
5% off. It's only every once in a while, or sometimes they do a special, a special um, sale at a holiday or whatever, and they'll have the 50% off. So, yeah, when there's a 50% off, you gotta go. So that you can get some of your staples for decent prices. I also found a Canadian art store online that stocks the complete line of uh, Copic of um, Copic markers, both the chows and the sketches and all the inks. So I and they're good prices there. So if I'm not using a 50% off coupon at Michael's, they are most definitely a good a good um, alternative. Oh my goodness, this has been going for 40 minutes and I kind of wondered because my neck is starting to burn. So I don't think I'm going to be able to finish the six. Let's see, I see some more here. And then... Okay, there isn't any there. So let's see if I can finish the sixes off. Well, no, actually, I can't. My, my neck is really burning. I'm going to have to close there. So, I think you can tell what it's going to be. I know I can. I'm giving you a chance to say it. Come on, I can't hear you. What is it? Yes, it must be the kitty. But what is the kitty doing? Because there's this thing here, and his paws seem to be resting on something here, and there's all this down below. So, our kitty is in something. So, if you want to see the finished picture of this, join me on Instagram. I post a picture of a finished coloring page every single day for your perusal. And um, also, if you have anything that you'd like to uh, talk to me about or uh, chat about or whatever, go on over to my discussion board here on, here on YouTube. Um, I think it's called Discussion. It started off being called Community, but uh, I think it's called Discussion now. Just just look at the tabs along the top when you're on my home page, and you'll see it. And you go on there, and um, right there, all YouTubers have a uh, discussion board. So no sense, no need to go outside of YouTube. Leave me leave me a comment there if you have any questions or anything you'd like me to do in particular. Um, any pictures you'd like me to color, any books you'd like me to color from, anything you'd like me to do a flip from, any of the uh, markers, I guess I've pretty much been showing you markers, that you would like to, me to swatch for you, just uh, let me know either in the comments down below or head on over to the discussion board. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, I hope you enjoyed your time with me, and I really appreciate uh, the support of all my subscribers. So in the meantime, until next time, bye-bye.